you want to know how to add sources into OBS and create your own custom overlay design? That's the purpose of this video. I'm going to show you how and I'm also going to give you some free assets that you could customize and have some pop-ups on your uh, overlay as well. So let's get into it. So when I first started streaming in August, I was overwhelmed with where to start. There's so many options, so many overlay choices. You can buy things. Do you design something? What do you do? So I started to think, you know, I, this should be like a design project. I went to design school for architecture and I dabble in graphic design. So I really wanted to think about how do we make this simple and how do we show only what needs to be shown? Like you don't need too many things popping up, confusing people. So, and I also want to share with you some of my thoughts, how to do this easily and free and give you some free tools and assets that you can use to create, honestly, a professional look for your uh, stream. So where do we start? So don't judge me. I'm using my wife's laptop, but uh, just to show you how to do it on a completely fresh screen, completely fresh computer. Uh, I recommend going to this website, Coolers. We're going to hit generate, come into this screen and honestly, just find the color palette you like just by hitting spacebar. Get a whole new colors. OK, let's find uh, let's make sure maybe there's one color in one of these you like. All right. I like white. We're going to freeze it and we're going to lock this black. I don't like blue, so we're going to see what other colors work well together. Maybe you already have a color from one of your logos. So what you'd want to do is type in that color. I don't know. Let's call it. Um, this is the color I use six, seven, four. Boom. We're going to lock that in. Now we're going to generate a few more other colors that are complementary to it. And whatever you find you like, save those codes. There you go. So what you're going to do is go over to streamlabs.com. Link is in the description below. And then you're going to want to hit login on the top, right? You're going to click on Twitch to log into your Twitch account. All right, so once we log in, we're gonna to wanna to go to all widgets over here. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down and you want to go to stream labels. This is an amazing feature. It requires you to install something on your computer. All right, so once you have stream labels installed, downloaded and installed, run the program and you wanna make sure that actually you right click on this or go into your uh, apps that open during startup and make sure that this program opens up at startup, every startup, so it's always running and this directory is always open. So you're gonna go ahead and log in, connect with your Twitch. After you do that, you wanna choose output directory. I like to put this in the C drive or somewhere very common. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna create an Excel, or not an Excel, a .txt file for every event that's happened in your stream. And so now this is updated. This is my event list. It's pretty old. I've had a few new followers actually in the last couple days, which is pretty tight. That's cool. And now I'll show you later how we're going to use this in OBS. So in OBS, this is a brand new OBS only on this screen. First, you want to add a new source, get your camera in there. So I'm going to use just the laptops built in camera, I'll call it webcam. Boom, integrated camera. There we go. I'm gonna imagine that you're playing some sort of game and I like to keep my camera here on the side when I stream. And then if you remember the coolers website, if you found a color you like, you might want to add a new color source. We'll call it color source one, boom. And select your color, whatever color you ended up finding. I'm gonna use one of the colors I know I use. This is like a, an off black color. And holy shit, that thing is huge what happened so this is where you could start to do interesting things with your layout so whatever is on top is always on top so once i push this down arrow it moves it behind my webcam and i like to have like a little a little band up here I got my webcam i've got a color source and in my discord community uh, on the server in free resources I have some items that you can use to add to your overlay for free and give it a few customization options. So let's do that. My webcam froze on this. Of course it did. Let's just imagine that's still going and it's still live. That's hilarious. Uh, I've got Streamlabs running. So what it does is it puts all sorts of text files that gives you 
any of this information, your top cheer, top donations, all time top cheer, all time top donations, all sorts of info that you wanna use to have on your stream. If you're just starting out, you probably just want your most recent follower. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So in OBS, I'm going to add an image. This is one of my images I'm gonna give away uh, in my uh, Discord, so recent follower. Browse, and I'm gonna choose recent follower. What that does is it puts that bad boy there. You can resize it. I'm gonna put this right here. There you go, recent follower. Now I'm going to add a text. We we'll call this follower label. And what you wanna do is you wanna read from file. Here, go to where that file is. You know it's on the stream labels and you wanna to go to most recent follower. You got it. And it's got that person's name. Now I'm gonna show you a few things that took me forever to figure out. You wanna right click on it. I'm gonna to go to transform, edit, transform. In here, you wanna do bottom left, scale to height of bounds, and then bottom left again. And what this does, if someone's name is longer, what it is, it put it up there. So if someone's name is longer, like on the next file than what's here, it's gonna be bound to that height. So it's always gonna rescale off the height. Scale it down so it fits nice and clean. I'm gonna move it up a hair with the D-pad over, over, over. And there we go, we've got it. And you could align that wherever you want in the future. And another thing, I'm gonna show you a quick little thing which is a image slideshow. Uh, I like to always win not visible, slide mode automatic, transition. I like to use, I believe it's swipe. We'll see once we add it in there. I'm gonna move this time down real quick just for demonstration purposes. And I always wanna make sure it's looped. Scroll down here, we're gonna add an item. These are the assets that I give you for free. I wanna do pop up, follow. Uh, yeah, it's not swipe. I don't like swipe, it's slide. I'm gonna change that to slide real quick. There it is. And then what I like to do, I like to add in this empty PNG. So what it's doing is creating a slideshow between these PNG files. So what it's gonna do, it slides in and it slides out to the empty PNG. And then it slides in with that one. So it seems like you have like an animated slideshow going on. And then uh, I've got a few ones that are like, uh, that are blank, that just show like an Instagram icon. And I'm gonna add another blank one in between there. And what you can do on a, there's a, there's a website, uh, I'll say it again in the description, but what I used was online image editor, like .com or something like that. I uploaded the, the blank Instagram one or the blank YouTube one, and I created this file very easily, super easy. If you guys wanna have a slideshow, boom, look at that. And then I'll just hit okay, and we'll see what this looks like on stream. You know, I like to put it here, and it's a little fast, but what it's gonna do, there you go, I got a little animated. So if I wanna go back into that, I wanna add a few items, go through all the free items I gave you, move that, you wanna make sure you have an empty between each one. You always wanna put an empty on the end. There you go. So that way it loops and it's always going. At least me, I like to have it empty for a second. And there you go. I'm curious how you use this info to create your own custom overlay for your channel. Please let me know by joining my Discord community and going into the self-promotion page and posting some screenshots or some videos or clips of what you did. Or you can let me know if there's any issues by commenting down below or joining the Discord and posting something in the chat. If you found any of this useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I do stream live on Twitch and I am building a copyright free playlist on Spotify for you to use in your stream backgrounds. Uh, all that is in the description below and thank you for watching.